Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so see behind me right here, this is my asparagus patch, or one of my asparagus patches. This is the most mature asparagus patch. And we have been picking asparagus from this for the last couple of years. It's one of the first things we planted when we first moved here because I knew that it was gonna take a little bit of time to establish itself. But I wanna show you something that's really cool. Okay, in your edible landscapes, this is what asparagus fern looks like. It's just really ferny. It gets real tall and then it starts to get heavy, especially if it rains and then it just kind of falls back down. And it's time for me to clean this up a little bit, just kind of trim it back a little bit. But today is Labor Day and I've been keeping an eye on it and I see that I have some new growth coming up. See right there? there's some new asparagus now these have probably gotten a little bit long they might be okay I can go ahead and pick those but, but in the springtime it's really easy there's another one there's there's several more so this one is a brand new spear and it's really too far I'm not gonna take it this is a brand new one this is a brand new one that's a brand new one but there's more down here that I can go ahead and harvest I see one two, three, four, and then there's more over there. But in the springtime, it's really easy to see when the asparagus is coming up because there's nothing there. You're just looking at basically bare soil or mulch uh, soil, and you see all these little spears coming up because all this growth has been cut back because it'll die back in the wintertime, and then all you see is these little spears coming up so it's really easy to see but in the fall you can get another harvest from your asparagus if you see it and if you catch it so i'm just going to remember today is labor day so any time that and it, and it depends a little bit on your weather and your climate and the temperatures and all of that but it'll put on a new uh, set of asparagus that you can go in and pick so I'm just gonna keep in my mind, I had thought in my mind, because we're in a new location, new kind of zone climate, uh, for the last four years, we've just started harvesting on these for um, a couple of years ago. So it, take, it took about two years. So in my new location, I'm going to remember that it's right around Labor Day or just before Labor Day when I can start harvesting again. I'm gonna go put it in my calendar, in my garden journal, and I can start picking some asparagus. Um, there's some in there so when I cut these back this older growth then I'm gonna be looking for the new ones that are coming up here but I wanted to show you something so see right here these little balls this is a female plant in each one of these balls there is about four seeds I'm not gonna take them yet I'm gonna let them go through their whole life cycle let this fern turn brown. I won't be cutting these ferns back because I wanna save these seeds. So I'll be harvesting that one right there after it gets a little bit taller, probably six or eight inches. There's another one right there. So I can't see in here because it's kind of a jungle. This looks a lot less jungly now. I'm gonna take out these spit gladiolas. Okay, I just want to be sure that I'm leaving enough foliage and do its whole photosynthetic thing. So uh, this many leaves, we should be able to do that. So I'm gonna do the same thing over there and then we'll finish up. Okay, over here, I'm gonna be a lot more careful to not cut off any berries. 
like I said, I want to be sure and save the seeds. So I don't want to cut off any that have berries on them. Okay, now that I can see what's going on down here, I'm going to go ahead and take a few of these off because I see I still have plenty more growth here. And you can tell this is all coming from the same plant. It's all coming from the same root system. So I feel comfortable just going ahead and getting these out of the way just so I can see what's going on with the new growth down here. Plus that cleans it up a lot more, makes it look a lot better. But I am not worried at all. Oh, there's, a, there's some grass. That's going to compete. I'm just going to take that out. See, I couldn't even see that. Okay, now I can kind of see what's going on down here. I can see I've got a new one coming up right here. I've got a new one coming up, a new asparagus spear coming up right here. And I can tell the difference between the old ones and the new ones because they're just more tender. This is really hard and woody. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna take this one out. I'm gonna double check and I'm gonna make sure. Actually, I'm gonna take these out. Yep, I see some new ones coming up back here. This one all the way down right there. This one right here. Okay, now I should be able to see we got some plantain that's coming up in there. <laughs> I want some more plantain, so I'm gonna just drop that on the ground. This one's hard and woody. I'm gonna take these little bitty ones out. Now let's see, I can take this one. This is one that I cut from the top. I'm also looking at the top. It's just easier for me to tell when I cut them from the top first. There's another one I can take, right? I'm gonna follow that down to the bottom. <laughs> oh, I see another one coming up over here. Let's see, I can take this one out. I can take this one out. I can take, see I cut this from the top, I can take this one out, I can take these two, make sure I'm following down to the right one, there, now I can see where all the new growth is coming from, I think I'm, that's all I'm going to take right now, from this one plant. I can tell because I know where I planted them. This is all coming from the same root system. Another plant right there. Oops, it looks like I cut one of the new ones. Oh well, I hate that that happened, but I'm not going to, oh yeah, I can see a new one coming up. Move kitty. We have a little bit of grass coming in right there. My worst weed ever. I'm gonna take up this horse mint. So I can just see what's going on down there. I don't mind that horse mint being there because it's a good ground cover. I'm gonna leave that one because I think this is a different plant. But I can definitely see what's going on here now. That was what I wanted to accomplish, was just be able to see what is going on in here and see any new growth that's coming up, okay? I'm gonna do this with all the rest of them. But as long as I'm leaving enough for it to do its photosynthesis thing, I'm not worried about the, the plant dying or the root dying and not coming back next year. 
Okay. Yep. There's one. There's several here I could have picked and brought in. Oh well. Hey, Labor Day for me. It could be a lot different for you depending on your climate and the microclimate that you have yours in. I have this in a little sun trap right off the roof line of the house. All right, as always, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down here. You can hit that little share button down here. If you know someone else who's into it, you can share it with them. All right, until next time, God bless. Bye for now.